Hi to all. Welcome to my class on Data Handling Chapter 3 Class 7. Today I am going to discuss chance and probability. You have very often come across the statement like this. There is no chance of it raining today. It is quite probable that India will win the World Cup. Let us discuss it in, it in details. Look at the statements given. The sun coming up from the west. Is it possible? No. So we can say this statement is an impossible statement. What about the next? An ant growing to 3 meter height. Oh, yes, that also an impossible statement. Now look at the third one. If you take a cube of larger volume, its side will be larger. That means when you increase the size of the cube, the sides also will increase. This is a statement which is certain to happen. That means definitely it will be happened. Now if you take a circle with a larger area, then its radius will also be larger. So circle with a larger area, then its radius also will be larger. That is, if you take a circle with a larger area, then its radius also will be larger. So, that statement also we can say, it is certain to happen. Now, what about the next statement? India winning the next test series. Is it certain to happen or impossible? This statement is can happen. But not certain. Here is a question for you. You have to tell whether the statements are certain to happen, impossible or can happen but not certain. Do try yourself. Now let us have a look at chance. If you toss a coin, can you always correctly predict what you will get? You try yourself. You toss a coin, write the number of times 1 and the outcomes, the result of what you are getting. If it is tail, you write a T and if it is head, you write H. The outcomes means the result of your activity. Do it for 20 or 30 or 50 times. Can you find a predictable pattern for head and tail? Of course, you will not. It is a matter of chance that in one particular throw, you get either of these, that is hat or tail. Let us look at another example. You are familiar with the throwing a die. When you throw, you will get different numbers. That is 1, 2, 3, 4 or 4, 5 or 6 you may get. When you throw a die, can you predict the number that will be obtained? You will get any one of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 when you throw a die. Now look at what a probability is. When a coin is thrown, what are the two possible outcomes? Yes, it is. Then what is the probability of getting a head? Here, you have two possible outcomes, head or tail. Out of this, probability of getting head means it is 1 out of 2. So, we can write it is 1 by 2. Now, can you say what is the probability of getting a tail? Yes, that also equal to 1 out of 2, that is 1 by 2. When a die is thrown, what are the possible outcomes? They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Now, what is the probability of getting 5? Here you have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equally likely outcomes. Now, out of this, you are only 1, 5 is there. So, its probability, you can write it as here, the probability is equal to 1 by 5. Then, what's the probability of getting 4? Again, here you have 6 outcomes and only 1 4 is there. Sorry, above there are probability of getting 5 is 1 out of 6. So, it is 1 by 6. Now, probability of getting 4. There are only 1 4 is there and total four, 6 outcomes are there. So, probability of getting 4 is 1 by 6. So, to find the probability, to find the total outcome and the number of favorable outcome. That is, if a container has 5 red balls and 9 white balls and if a ball is pulled out without seeing, probability of getting white ball. Here, how, total how many balls are there? 9 plus 5. That is, 14 balls are there. Out of which, how many are white? 9. So, for probability of getting a white ball, you can write as 9 by 14. This is the way how you find out probability of an event. Here, you have 3 more questions. Do you answer? You have 2 more questions? Do it. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.